Hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to be covering the TSC900 controller voltage changes. I'm going to be going over three types of switches today. The ICS slash MOT style switch, the S style switch, and the power contactor style switch. First, I'm going to go over how to change the taps on the transformers themselves, and then we're going to jump into the actual touchscreen display and how to change the voltage settings on there. So let's dive into it. The first part of this video can be used for all three types of switches. The first thing you want to do is remove your isolation plugs on the top and bottom of the door by grabbing the plug by the tabs on the top and bottom and giving a firm pull. The second thing you want to do is remove the plastic cover on the transformer and then grab your multimeter on the voltage setting and verify the absence of voltage. The third thing that you want to do is find the wire labeled select tap and move that to the corresponding voltage you're looking for as labeled on your transformer. And always make sure that you replace the plastic cover for your transformer. This next part is for power contactor style switches only. Before starting any work, it's important to lock out your utility and your generator because these wires tap directly off of the bus bars. So inside your ATS on the door, you're gonna notice there's a system voltage configuration sticker and a terminal block with either jumpers or wires. The sticker above the terminal block will give you directions on where to put your jumper in order to get the required voltage that you are looking for. After moving the jumper to the required location and confirming that your voltage output is correct, You've now done all the physical changes required for your voltage change and you're on to the last step which is the touchscreen itself and adjusting the voltage settings on the controller. So let's jump into that. When looking at your touchscreen display, a good indication that you have an incorrect voltage setting is this blinking exclamation mark above the utility line as well as this transfer halted indicator on the middle of the screen. So to change this voltage setting, the first thing you're going to do is click on the blue lock in the corner of the screen to log in. And you're going to select admin as your username and your password is going to be pass, P-A-S-S. -S. So now that you're logged in, there's a bar at the top of the screen that you can swipe over to get more options. We're going to go over to the settings tab to the system voltage and in the value column is where we will change our voltage. So we'll click on the blue and here you have your configuration that you select in our case a 120 240 volt single phase system. There's a tab here for more options or even a custom voltage if you prefer and once done click the apply button and confirm the action. It will take up to one minute to do this action. After you've completed this part, you will click at the home icon in the bottom right corner of the screen to go home and see if the changes have helped you out. As you can see, the blinking exclamation mark is gone. So now we just have to click this release transfer and if it likes our voltage setting, it will disappear and everything will be ready to go. So that's how you change your voltage settings and configuration on a TSC 900 controller. We hope this video was helpful for you and we'll see you again on the next one.